Hello, my name is Frank. I'm here at the Rock Springs Park in Gwinnett County, Georgia. Gwinnett County in the year 2008 won the award for having the best park system in the United States, beating out Las Vegas and Fort Worth, Texas. So it's a wonderful uh, system of parks. This particular park has 113 acres, has a football field with lighted walking track, has six lighted tennis courts, a playground, a, a large pavilion that I'm standing in right now, restrooms, and a two-mile paved multi-purpose trail and grills. So it's a wonderful uh, park. Uh, so if you get a chance, you might want to stop by. Here I am at the park. The police just came by. They patrol these parks very well. The trail begins here at the pavilion. And two uh, park benches. Here's the rules of the trail. Here's the same rules in large print. I guess we should start moving. It's going to be in the 90s today. The trail starts off by sloping down a hill here. The trail loops down. I had to go back and get my umbrella in case there's any open spaces. And the trail uh, uh, splits down here, but these young ladies told me I could go either way because it all comes back around. They have what is called a uh, hip locator signs here in Gwinnett County Parks. If there should be an emergency or somebody gets lost, if they, when they call the 911 operator, she can tell them uh, and be able to locate them because of these uh, numbers on these hip locator signs. So I guess we'll go left here because that's the path recommended for hikers. It's going to be a warm day to, uh, today. It's supposed to get up into the 90s. These are hip located signs that are found throughout the park. We're headed down the way here on these twisted turns. There seems to be a few songbirds out this morning. Hope you can hear them. We're making our way around the curve and it slopes downward at this point. There's another locator sign here. There's a couple of ponds partially dried up along the trail here. The trail slopes uh, downward and then upward uh, as we come. We've gone a half a mile already. There's hardly any uh, shade trees in the The trail loops around into a forest up front for some shade trees. This is the area I just walked and there's no shade trees for the first half mile. The trail curves around to the right here slightly uphill. It looks like I'm going to need to use my umbrella again as I go into an open area. Looks like we have some uh, raspberries along the trail here. We have a few wildflowers along the trail. We have another open area that reaches upward and to the left. It looks like I finally reached a shady area here, thank God. The sun is getting rather hot today. Now this trail right now is going to loop around the lake. This is the first park bench we've seen since we left the entrance. I think I'll sit down here uh, a minute by the pond and relax for a drink. I was mistaken. The pond is only half full of plants. Here's another view of the pond, a wonderful pond, on the other side. According to the marker, we've gone three-fourths of a mile, and the hiking trail is ahead. The road splits to the left and to the right. I'm going to take the right side because it's uh, recommended uh, to go right or straight ahead uh, according to the sign here for the hikers. We have another open area here, so this umbrella is really coming in handy today. This slopes down and around to the right as we make our way further down the trail. We have a giant oak tree here alongside the trail. The trail curves uh, to the left downhill here. We have another park bench, but it's in the open uh, sun here. The road uh, snakes around the curve here and goes to the other side. Looks like we have some more raspberries growing alongside the trail here. We're headed downhill and to the right. It makes another curve here as it twists around to the left. It makes some more twists here as we uh, go further downhill. It looks like we've made it to the one mile marker finally. It looks like we have a raspberry patch along the way here. Now the road uh, evens out. Looks like we might have a, uh, some flat land. Looks like we have a side trail here, uh, a dirt, dirt trail. Here's one of the bridges. Uh, I'm not sure where this trail leads, but this is the bridge that leads over the dirt trail. I'm not sure how long it is. 
The hill climbs and snakes around uh, to the right. We come to another uh, bench in the open uh, area. We have a park bench with, they desperately need some shade trees here by these park benches. The trail curves uphill slightly to the left. We are coming to our first bridge here on the main trail. We come to the mile and the fourth marker here on the trails. We head upwards. We have more hill climbing to do here. Another park bench coming up, but it also is in the sun. We're passing by the field. This would be a good spot for bird watchers, I think. This trail makes a circle and loops back, so we're back almost where we started. We just came from this winding uh, trail here. We're doing a backtrack now as we loop back to the parking area. Back to the bench where we took a, a break. This is about the only bench that's in the shade. I'm, I think I'm going to take a shortcut uh, through the fields here. I think this shortcut uh, away from the main trail is more enjoyable than the trail itself. It's not as hot. They have the gate locked, but I see on the side a person can sneak through on the other side. So that uh, saves a lot of grief from being in the sun to reach the parking lot more easily. Here's the shortcut I took from the main trail, and it saved a lot of sun. This is the pavilion inside the park. It's very nice with lots of uh, picnic tables, open space. So it's a wonderful place, and it's located right against the uh, parking lot over on the side here. Hello, I just finished walking the trail, and it was a, a tough grind because the temperature is almost in the 90s, and there's hardly any shade trees along the trail. So if I were you, I would definitely bring an umbrella if it's in the 90s, and a good hat, and a water bottle, because you'll need it along the trail. And there's very few park benches, and uh, what park branches they have are, strong, uh, are not uh, in the shade. So it makes for a hard go. I guess we have some maintenance people out here working on the trails today. That's good. It seems to be very, uh, very safe. I noticed there was a police officer here when I came up. So I hope this advice to you uh, will come in handy. So have a good day.